Hello everybody and welcome to part two of the William Wallace Ultra Hardcore Campaigns. We're going to be getting mission number four. This will be the third attempt or the third trial at mission number four. And again, this is completely uncut, so I may win or lose each of these trials. Uh, although that's part of the fun and part of figuring out the strategy of how to beat these. If you haven't seen part one already, please click the link on the top right. It was a lot of fun. And otherwise, let's get started on trial number three of mission number four. Hello everyone and welcome to trial number three on the fourth scenario of William Wallace. I think we'd get this time. Weapons and armor. The wind, you will need to advance to the feudal age and repel the English raid. You're going to need to research some technologies of your own to increase the strength of your civilization. For example, the Meridars! Researching loom makes your village hard to kill. To research Loom, click the town center, then click the research Loom button. Alright, so we know what we're up against this time. Uh, they're not going to catch us by surprise. I'm going to do a Fast Imps Quick Siege Ram strategy. Uh, if that's even a thing. I'm going to make it a thing, hell. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up on very late and try to survive as I'm going up and then get the Siege Rams out. Alright, let's get Loom, like the guy said. Researching technology costs resources, but improves your civilization. While you're researching, you can put your villagers to work and use your military units to explore. Alright, I don't know if the dock was worth it last time. That kind of died real quick. There's a lot of sheep here, though. A lot of food to start. Uh, I'm going to try to wall towards my TC. I could wall through here. Let's do that nice and early, though. Try to use houses, too. That way they have to go through the TC. Now, I don't know how much time I'm going to get before the first wave comes in. Heavy demos! I'm in the Dark Age, so that ain't going to work. And buildings become available when you advance to a new age. To advance from the Dark Age to the Feudal Age, you need 500 food. Oh, the mood is quite different this time. Let's try to lure some deer. In addition to gathering food in forage bushes, villagers can herd sheep or hot deer food. Alright, so five on wood. We don't need any more. Um, do I take... Oh, there we go. Here's the first one. You're going down. I forgot we gotta wall these choke points off, too. Alright, let's go wall this off. Look how determined this person is! She's getting beat into death and she's still trying to finish the tower. The Brits are uh, pretty hardcore. Oh. Okay, good. Alright, so we're gonna go for like 30 population up, okay? Uh, I need a castle, I also want that for defense, so we'll have to go over there. Maybe wall through here also. And I'm not gonna wait too long to wall. Right there. Oh, come on. Uh, if I don't need the space, I'm just going to wall like this. Actually, I do need the space. I, for I forgot to uh, think about how I'm going to structure my base. Because the space runs out real quick. That's not something I thought about. Alright, so I'm going to wall through here like this. He's gonna make another run for it. Take that boar up the top as well. We're almost there. Almost gonna click up. 
Alright, I'm feeling the first raid coming on. It's gotta be pretty soon. Alright, little a few more villagers, and we'll be going up. Really obsessed with that tower. Good. Oh! Okay, they've deleted it now. Oh, actually, fighting back now? Okay. Oh my god, how did they win? What? That is insane. Right, I think we have too much wood. Now you have enough food to advance to the feudal age. However, you also need two buildings from your current age. Alright, there's that tower. Okay, there's the Berserks. Why are they going after that house? Go somewhere else! Oh my god. Alright, here we go. This is gonna be a tough build. Alright, just got it up. I'm gonna make one militia just to uh, try to distract these guys a little bit. So the biggest problem here is going to be food. Let's grab that boar. Oh my god, how did they, how did they get there? Oh, you're kind of valuable, you're a distraction. Okay, so far so good. But uh, we're running out of food. Yeah, we need a lot more food. Alright, so the stone looks good, the gold looks good. Need more food and a little more wood. Let's build the two buildings right here. Good market blacksmith. Advancing to the next stage is the best way to improve your civilization. Thank you, Scottish man. Near the minimap at the lower right corner of the screen is the idle villager button. Click it. And locate villagers who are not currently assigned to a task. Ah, you're not working. Now that you're in the feudal age, you can upgrade your militia to men at arms. Click the barracks, then click upgrade to men at arms. Now that you're in the feudal age, I got it! I got it! Your militia to men at arms. I got it! Men at arms are good. Then click upgrade to men at arms. And here we go, up to the next stage. Come on, come on. Here we go. So I'll have enough wood just by looking at it. Uh, stone looks good, that's for the castle. Actually, I don't need that much wood. 
Because I'm gonna build a castle, not the two buildings. The uh, seed workshop in the monastery or whatever. Um, castle will go in front of the town center, I believe. I believe that's the best point. That's the best place to put it. Seed one more farm. I'm not getting the eco upgrades either, I need all the food. So where to place the castle? I can place it right here on the hill. Um, I'm gonna place it right here though, on the town center. What are you doing? Gold's looking pretty bad though, I, I need way more gold. Alright, we have the market though, I can sell a bit of wood if I need to. And stone looks fine. I don't think I'll make another town center. Uh, I just want to go sea dram as fast as I can. And you guys can make the castle. Oh yeah, we could. <laughs> Alright, so the castle is going to be our one building. Here we go. So far it seems a lot easier than in the past, I must admit. Uh, we are on the hardest, hardest difficulty. Oh boy. Okay, so we have to sell a little bit of wood, I think. Maybe stone. Stone is very valuable. There's not that much stone here. So I think I, I will sell some wood. And as soon as that castle is up, we'll be up to the next age. And then we can get some eco upgrades. And I'll transfer some of these guys to wood. So they're in the Imperial Age now, I think they're going to come at me pretty hard now. And there we go, we're up. So what's going to be the first thing? I need wood for a siege workshop. Here they come! Let's try to stonewall this off as well. Ooh, fletching might be good too. They're just outside the range. My castle's going down fast. Oh no, a sea tramp, sea tramp. Alright, we're gonna get. Yeah, I don't wanna spend it, but we're gonna get fletching. Looks like we need a lot more wood. Alright, kill it, kill it, kill fast! Oh my god, they go down so fast. Maybe T Tard would have been better. We need a lot more food. Oh, it's going down! C 
Disney's Workshop's not up yet. More sea trams! Oh no! There's so many arbalests. Can't let the castle go down. Repair! Oh damn. Oh no! If only I had Rams out sooner. Okay, I think this one's gonna go down as a loss. Well, next time I have to uh, go up later. They didn't attack very quickly at the beginning. Next time I have to go up later. Um, so I have enough food for like fletching or. Um, if I had Rams out, I could counter these Rams. That would have been great. Alright, so let's try this again. This is gonna be try number four. English use very advanced weapons and armor. To win, you will need to advance to the feudal age and repel the English raid. Alright, so we're gonna try to do this dark age really good. Lure all these deer. To increase the strength of your civilization. For example, researching loom makes your villagers hard to kill. We're gonna wait to take the sheep. To research loom, click the town center. Then click the research loom button. I could have made rams though. I could have made rams. I should have gotten it just a little bit later. Uh, we're gonna do like 30 pop this time. And I'm gonna try to get as many of these deer as possible. Oh shit, we need a house. Uh. Good. Researching technology costs resources, but improves your civilization while you're researching. You can put your villagers to work and use your military units to explode. A little bit late development, sorry. Watch that be the mistake that cost me the game. New technologies and buildings become available when you advance to a new age. To advance from the Dark Age to the Feudal Age, you need 500 food. <laughs> what are you doing? Alright, we're gonna try to wall a little bit farther away this time. In addition to gathering food at forage bushes, villagers can herd sheep or hunt deer for food. And we have to wall in the castle too, I feel. We're gonna wall it in with gates. So hopefully this will give us a little bit more space. Which wasn't a problem yet, but I know it'll be a problem later. Oh my god, they got that up! Son of a bitch. Alright, go kill it. Alright, that's gonna idle our economy a little bit. Try to get back working as soon as possible. All right, two more be two more deer to lure. Oh, 
Oh, and more sheep. Nice. We have tons of sheep now. And that's all walled up. Now you have enough food to advance to the feudal age. However, you also need two buildings from your current age. You already have a barracks. So now have your villagers build a mill. The mill is a drop-off point for food, so build it next to your food source. All right, so 30 pop. I'm going to try to resist the urge to click up sooner. Oh, that's not good to shoot. To the weak one, huh? Position themselves to target the weakest thing. Good. Okay, Get on your go. way to the feudal age. Good. Two arms. The English are making a sneak attack. Maybe I was trying to make a little space where the market and blacksmith supposed to go. Uh, this is so much better though. Look at how much food I have. A thousand food already. That's a lot. You guys can make the market blacksmith. Okay. I'm gonna hang around a little bit. And I'm trying to make this castle size. Oh, I didn't build a mill. Shit. But I can build a stable. I guess. Near the mini map at the lower right corner. So the castle goes here. Is the idle villager button. Click and locate villagers who are not currently assigned to a task. Now that you're in the feudal age, you can upgrade your militia to men at arms. Click the barracks, then click upgrade to men at arms. 
You can upgrade your militia. I got it. I got it. Click the barracks, then click upgrade to minute. So we currently don't have any food coming in, which is the biggest problem. So we need a bit of food uh, if we want to get into the Imperial Age. Now you can advance from the Dark Age to the Feudal Age. Now, these guys tend to die pretty quickly on the farms close to the TC. Advance to Feudal Age. And castle will go right here. Alright, this build looks a lot cleaner than last time. Uh, hopefully it works out this time. Food's still not looking so good. I don't have a market this time. Gold looks great though. Pretty, but we'll go with it. So last time food was the biggest problem. So that was 31 pop-up. Um, if we make another mistake this time, we're going to do 32 pop-up. Things don't work out. We got inefficient. I have two, two mills here. There we go. We're up. Take any risks. Capran can attack through an item, so let's uh, do a little bit back like that. Looks like we'll need a bit more gold. Ooh. 
Alright, so these defenses look pretty solid, I must say. We're getting siege rams out. A lot of food for the next upgrade, for the capture ram upgrade. I'm do that right away. Especially because I'm out of wood. There we go, Bacchanera is nice too. Ooh. Let's go with siege ram first. Capture ram first. So still need more food. I like this upgrade too. Let's get the wood upgrade first. Most of these farms are getting pretty low. Let's keep this uh, keep this going. Come on, a little more wood. Come on, baby. Okay, Bikinera is going to be next for the castle. Uh, we're out of stone now. Here we go, Bikin for the castle. Uh, we want a second lumber camp. Oh, we still want more ramps, though. Where is this attack? I don't see where the attack's coming from. I thought they would attack by now. I'm just gonna mass as many rams as we can before we have to push out. Yeah, so what's the biggest problem right now? Okay, let's start from a second place where we can take wood. Can I fit a lumber camp here? I think I can. Yeah, I can. Fair account to cost 750-450. Siege Ram's a thousand food. Okay, they gotta be coming in pretty soon. I imagine it. Description's pretty cheap. I don't know, maybe we got lucky. This is, they're not attacking so much. Maybe it has something to do with our walls. If you're walled, they don't attack as much. So for all those upgrades, we're going to keep seeding these farms. And so far, so good. Got a lot of rams now. Oh, I think we should get first call. <laughs> I 
That's a lot of ramps. So we're almost ready to push out. Uh, we can add some loads to that also. Still waiting for that first attack. I feel like if I leave, they're gonna attack me right as soon as I do that. Almost there for Siege Ram. Oh, some units on the water. Alright, should we go south first or to the left first? I feel like I should go left first because I don't have any defenses over there. Three Berserks are back. And they'll go down easy. Oh, we have Stronghold. I forgot about that tech. 250, 200. That's pretty cheap. Uh, I feel like that gives us a lot of insurance. Oh, I can't fit anywhere, apparently. Apparently I still have to click the advanced the feudal age button. Okay, here they come. Here they come. One more second, and then we'll have a seizure random upgrade. And here we go, seizure random. I think just some, some something about the way we built our base, they're not attacking us for some reason. Uh, it's either fully walled, or maybe they're just attacking the stable and we haven't noticed. Oh, look at this. Yeah, we're gonna go through this way first. Alright, next on the list is gonna be four Celtica. And these guys have a lot of range. We could either go Siege, Onager. Uh, we don't have a lot of gold, though. Um, the gold will run out eventually, so maybe we just want to go, like, Halbs or Skirmisher or something like that. And I'm waiting just to get this so I can uh, afford some upgrades. Or we could go Road Raider. Road Raider's not that expensive on gold. 25 gold each. You have one, two... Three, four. We have some gold mines, but sea drains do cost quite a bit of gold too. You have to remember. I almost have this upgrade. Let's go. We're building a bit of surplus, though, of stuff. All right. In case we do want to go uh, some sort of food unit, let's uh, add some more farms. It's five right there. There we go. Okay, we have a ram army down. That's perfect. Um, I suppose we could get siege engineers also. So let's go ahead and put a university down. We'll delete it when we need the space. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Where am I supposed to put this? Um, it's like playing Tetris. There we go.
Let's see. I, I feel like maybe we just want to go halves. Like, they suck, sure, but they're uh, they're going to be way cheaper on the goal, which means we can make a lot more rams. And I think we get hand cart now. Why so expensive? People don't talk about uh, space as being one of the resources in Age of Empires, but it really is. Even in, comp uh, of course, in competitive games too. Space is a resource of its own. So our economy is about as efficient as it's ever going to be at this page. No honor uh, I didn't want to use the gold. Um, these gold mines are running out. I think a siege ram would just be a better use of gold. Because the AI, um, the AI can micro as well. You know, that superhuman AI. Alright, they're getting a little more aggressive now. They will hit some of these guys too. Ballistics might be uh, something to get. Oh, I'm actually getting a few. Not the biggest deal at this stage, but it's not nice. What is this lady doing? It's an invisible farm. I say, I, say I can't take these. Grab one trebuchet. Food is so hard to get, there's no space. I have to look at exactly how these farms are going to fit together to get the best, most efficient lineup. What? They were making a wonder? What? Oh, now they have the trebuchets. Nice. Any other text I need from here? I could just delete this otherwise. And we'll murder holes, maybe. Let's grab masonry. And let's grab a market, too. Okay, I think I gotta push out now, because these trebuchets are... Gonna be a pain in the ass. I can't build a market. Chemistry, we don't need that. Uh, don't really need that. Don't know if we need murder holes. I, I can't afford murder holes anyway. So I guess that's going to be it for the siege workshop. For the university, my bad. 
and I just need that space. Kidding me? How am I supposed to? Okay, we're going in now. I can't lose that. I can't lose that at all. No. The time to act is now. They probably had the unique tech though for the British, the werewolf. Yeah, let's do some more uh, counter traps. Alright, that actually worked. That worked. Okay, looks like we survived that. Gotta get through here now. So far, so good. Sure, it are doing a lot of damage, huh? Hussar! Yeah, I could do Celtic Hussar. Um, I don't know, what is better? Hussar or the Halbs? The Celt Halbs? God, that's a lot of archers. Yeah, I think Hussar might be a good option, actually. Look at them, they're already rebuilding. Actually taking down the Rams. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, these guys can't do anything. There's so many of them. So many archers. Let's just try to take out all the critical buildings that they used to make these guys. The thing is about the the, the good thing about the um the halb is that the um they only cost um uh, that they cost some wood. Obviously food's kinda harder on me. I thought this was over. No, 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 no! Okay, 
lose it, can't lose it. I'm gonna add a gold actually, that's a bigger problem. Okay, we took out almost most of it. Oh, there's so much more though. And we're out of gold too. We should have waited on that push a bit. They built a castle? What? the trap. Uh, I'm not taking that kind of risk. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, we're just gonna block it. Shh. Build faster! All the upgrades now, at least. So there's the Kel Tusser. Uh, 15 more HP than a Halb, one more attack, two more Pierce armor. So a little bit better than a uh, than a than a Halb. Uh, let's use these trebuchets. Let's use About an hour in, and we're still at like 58 population. Holy shit! I think Siege Onager would have been a better idea. You think Red is cheating? Of course, Red is cheating. If I could use this space, that would be great, though. Holy shit. I don't know if I can push that back at so many archers. And they keep rebuilding here too. Um I don't have enough gold for onager. Okay. 
Honager would have been so much better. No, I don't think the enemy runs out of gold. I can't get in there. Oh, they're still transporting the three guys. That's funny. What can I do? Alright, Honager is going to be 500 gold. I'm already sold out at everything. For me to get 500 gold, that would take forever. Hmm. Right, do you guys see a solution? I think I'm gonna have to restart this one. I have to start over. Ne ne All right, next time I have to go Hustler first instead of Halb. Um, siege Rams was good. I think I need to add Siege Onager though and use up all that gold and just do one big push. I think that's gonna be my plan for next time. If I could have expanded out a little more also, uh, could have given myself even more room for the, all those farms. Alright, so let's restart one more time. Alright, so we're gonna go with the fast imp again. 31 population seemed to work. English Maybe 32. Advanced weapons and armor. Oh, to win, you will need to advance to the feudal age and repel the English raids. You're going to need to research some technologies of your own to increase the strength of your civilization. For example, researching loom makes your villagers hard to kill. To research loom, click the town center, then click the research loom button. Yeah, we're going to try that this time, Guide. However, um, I was concerned about how much gold that would cost. So obviously we can't replace things very easily. Alright, so 31 population, that's the build. We're going to build out a little bit more. Castle can go. If I got that tree. If I could put the castle on the hill, that would be great. Although I don't know if I'll have time to. Might be able to put a castle on that hill. In addition to gathering food at forage bushes, villagers can herd sheep or hunt deer. Let that one happen this time.
Uh, just need a few more houses. We'll try to house with the berries. Well, I try to build the better. Oh right, I forgot honor just can make space. Yeah, that's a it's a huge point. I completely forgot about that. I would have never thought of that. Alright, that could give us some good that's that's some hope. That feels like hope. The English are attacking again! I'm great to men at arms. Alright, so 31 is the magic number, I think. Maybe 32. Let's do 32, actually. No, how am I supposed to do that? It's behind the wood. Oh, maybe I could move out early? And palisade where the tower would be? I wasn't too concerned with the tower, though. I'm more concerned with the flood of units that comes in. After the tower. Let's take lumber over here, that way we make a little more room. Look at this hunting mess, look at this. Don't kill the sheep, don't kill the sheep! That's all the food we could take. These guys have uh, exhausted their berries also. Good. Researching technology costs resources, but improves your civilization. While you're researching, Look at the food count. You can put your villagers to work and use your military units to explore. This is so messy. Good. You're on your way to the feudal age. 
We already have enough to go up to the next stage. Look at that. Let's get some eco upgrades too when we get up. And we should see the first raid right now. Alright, we need some villagers in the TC. New technologies and buildings become available when you advance to a new age. To advance from the Dark Age to the Feudal Age, you need 500 food. Now you have enough food to no! the food. However, you also need two buildings from your current age. You already have a bed. So now have your villagers build a mill. The mill is a drop-off point for food. So, right, so market flags with great food source. Now you can advance here. from the dark age oh, to the feudal more. age. Click your town center, then click the advance to feudal age button. Good! You're on your way to the feudal age. Dwarves! The English are making a sneak attack! And we can get eco upgrades this time also. Because we went up here. The mini map at the lower right corner of the screen is the idle villager button. Click it and locate villagers who are not currently assigned to a task. Now that you're in the feudal age, you can upgrade your militia to men at arms. Click the barracks, then click upgrade to men at arms. Now that you're in the feudal age, you can upgrade your militia to men at arms. Click the barracks, then click upgrade to men at arms. Okay, looks good so far. We'll put the, put the castle on the hill. Um, going to Imperial Age real soon. We have eco upgrades this time. Let's cut down some of these trees. Now, bummer. Don't need that much wood. Yeah, cast will go right there. <laughs> That's funny, the Jedi. Alright, we need you guys to build the castle. And everything according to plan so far. Oh, we're a little low on food though. Low on food. Let's get two more farmers. A little bit low on food, okay. Fast is really tough. Remember how many resources we had going up? We had like 1800 food and now we still don't have enough food. Eco's in a much better place than last time. We have uh, some decent upgrades now. That's all walled up too. And we'll click up right now. 
There we go. Couple all the stuff even more. And last time food was still a problem. Um, so we're just gonna spend that all. We're gonna spend all the wood on to uh, food. So last time we kind of we had had a little bit of a lull after we got into the Imperial Age. Hopefully this time we can be a little faster. Uh, maybe a little more eco focused. Uh, get our eco upgrades right away. Uh, we'll go into Husser straight away. Do you guys think a second town center would be worth it here? Oh, we want Onage just straight away, that's right. So we can make room. Some range on that tower. No, we want the Onager upgrade right away. That's what we want. And I think we will have enough stone for a town center if we want one. Kid, be beat fear. Beat fear. The market prices are really good, actually. Oh, this is a different strategy we could do. We could do quick guilds and sell a lot of food to get gold for later on. That's... I don't, do we want to do that? Yeah, let's, let's play the late game. Alright, so this is all this is all eco-based, eco-approach. Okay, quick guilds. Uh, Mangano is just to defend the castle when they start coming. I feel pretty safe right now. Last time they didn't attack that hard for a while. So we're gonna get eco upgrades, we're gonna get guilds, we're gonna sell a bunch of food. And look at that market price, that's beautiful. That's gonna really help us out later on. And, uh, I guess we don't need to be mining any gold because we're just going to be selling for a while. Oh, how did he come in? Oh my god, a berserk! No, 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 no! Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Oh, why are they coming from that direction now? Handcart, we didn't get that for some time last time. Oh, this could be a weakness though. Oh, let's get some trebuchets just to defend, just in case. A whole lumber camp over here. Oh, 
Alright, so the question is, when do we want to start stop selling? I'd like to get that Onager upgrade pretty soon. Especially if they're going to come in through that side. And you know what, we're just going to save it right here. We're going to save the game, just in case we lose. So that way we can continue from this point. Uh, there we go. Alright, so with all this extra gold, I feel pretty comfortable going onager uh, siege ram combo. That is, if we just get enough time. Don't kill the market. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> okay, it's not that bad. They're not that far away. I thought they were going for a wonder victory. Let's wall this now. I want them to build the whole thing before I kill it. Just from, just keep their villagers idle. That's why. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, just keep their villagers idle. Okay, we'll kill it later. Wait, if they can win through Wonder Victory, that means I can also. Ah. That's a boring way to win, though. We've <laughs> we've been if we if we lose this time, we'll try the Wonder Victory next time. A lot more space than last time. The eco, I think this this is gonna work. The eco based approach. With some smart walling at the beginning. And that market price still looks great. It's like they're buying food. Oh, no. There we go. That's efficiency.
And I think we get the auto drop right now. Saw a trebuchet bolt. Oh, there it is. Oh shit, did I? No, I didn't. thought I lost the trebuchet for a second. Yeah, we got Onager now. Let's make some room. This will give us more room for farms, which means we can make more Husser. Go, 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 go! Ah! Gotta be kidding. out here. I'm surprised how unaggressive they are at the moment. Yeah. Last time uh, I, I couldn't win though because not because they weren't uh, you know they were so unaggressive but because they um they Exhausted all my gold, and then I couldn't get past the the huge mass. So we're not gonna make that mistake this time. I think that's everything we need from here. Let's start on the upgrades for those hustler. All right, so we're getting ready to push out now. Start getting some of these great upgrades. Oh look, it's it's freedom! Someone bring William Wallace. It's freedom. That's just that. It's just as far as we need to get. I think we're gonna break the scenario. Yeah. 
Alright, freedom! Oh, look at this! The desert in the middle of nowhere! Yes! Oh, there's the wonder. I forgot about it. <sighs> Thank goodness. Prepare to meet your maker. All right, let's uh, let's explore this a little bit. Where does this go? And the wood is bottomed out at the station. Should save again. Yeah, let's save one more time. I think I've learned my lesson as far as saving. There should be an auto save, to be honest. Every new game has an auto save, but oh well. Look at this. Food's almost bottomed out now. Where does this go? Okay, it stops here. But what about on the bottom? And food is bottomed out. Alright, there's a little lake here. We could go around the back, or we could go straight through the front. Doesn't matter to me. We have space now, though. Space. Okay, let's go through the same way we, we went before. Actually, there's Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! Oh, they're too smart. Apparently I can't use that farm, okay.
Okay, almost ready. Years remaining on the wonder. I never gonna see this coming. So that's not really, <laughs> we're not really going anywhere with that. Uh, let's go straight through the middle. Alright, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. We're at 200 pop now. We can spam everything all day. Here we go. There we go, I think we're gonna defeat the British! Here we go! Ah, I forgot the heavy scorpion upgrade doesn't cost anything. Any gold. So let's do those. Population's going down a little bit. Let's keep it up. Alright, go aggressive, go aggressive. Oh, look at all the death! Yes! Trying to make a run for it. All right, we can kill the wonder. I think we won this one. And you know what? Fuck you! Oh, I don't have stone. But they're gonna resign, they're gonna resign, yes! As soon as the wonder goes down. And we won, thank god. Only took us four, four or five trials? Oh wow. There was nothing out here.
I've gotten really lucky with the, the Forest Clearing. So the winning strategy looks to be Fast Imperial, uh, sell a bunch of resources. We didn't have that much gold left. I mean, we had like 3k gold left, maybe 4k gold. And just give it one good push and try to organize your defenses really well. You get a little lucky, perhaps. All right, so I'm going to take a quick break and we'll go on to the next scenario, which will be number five. Here's your timeline. The time has come to take the offense. English have a fortune in the town of Sterling. If we can defeat the English here, they may think twice about their invasion of Scotland. Scout cavalry are poor fighters, but they can see great distance. You can use your scout cavalry to explore the rest of the map and find the English. To win, destroy the English tower to the west. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food. Keep making villagers at your town center until you have ten. The more villagers you have, the faster your resources will come in. You found some sheep? Sheep are a good source of food, so send them back to your town center and assign a villager to gather food from them. You can specify a location for new units to gather. This guy really doesn't shut up. Gather point. For villagers, click the town center and click the set gather point button. Use your villagers to build a mill near your forage bushes. The hill with the dead tree protects the only access to your town. It would be a good idea to build a watchtower on this hill once you advance to the village. Alright, notice in fish here, we're gonna get a dock up. Uh, welcome everyone, this is gonna be the first attempt at, uh, at this scenario. Oh, why did you do that? So I don't know what to expect on this first attempt, we'll see how hard it is. Um, Pure, are you actually the creator of these? Uh, these are pretty fun, I, I would like to see more of these, even for the, uh, even for other campaigns such as Barbarossa. Um, I just love playing the originals, but uh, they're a little too easy for me for the most part. So these are pretty fun. And they bring back a lot of nostalgia value for the newer players as well. No, Pure, I didn't win that time. Oh, they're already here! Okay. I'm relaxing a little too much. Oh, that's a big force. That's a big force. Alright, but they're gonna run to the TC. That's good. That's a big force. Alright, um... Let's play serious. We got a wall towards the TC. We gotta do that. There's a lot of food up here. I can wall back on the bottom. Let's get Loom. Yeah, I've I've I've, uh, I've actually played that one before. I didn't have anyone to play with though, <laughs> but I, I love the idea. I would love to see more hardcore campaigns, like this one. And they're pretty fun too because they have a lot of surprises in them. It's not like just they're spamming units all the time. The uh, triggers are really fun. All right, we gotta make sure they don't come in anymore. Oh, uh, we want to dock up. I think the Viper would have a great time playing these, for example. Okay, we're not gonna do the duck. We're not gonna do the duck. I do need food though. I need food right now. Oh, we're gonna go idle TC. What? There's no palisade walls? Are you kidding me? No, it's stuff like this that makes that's kind of fun. There's no palisade walls. More food by building fishing ships. Create fishing ships. It's a trick. Have your villagers build a dock in the water to the south. That's my only gold. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? How am I gonna take that? I 
I can't wall this either. I <laughs> learned to play without walls, dude. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, okay, so I I think we're gonna learn from that, and we're gonna go second try now. The time has come to take Excuse me. This is part of the wall. Sheep are up here. Have a fort near the town of Stirling. If we can defeat the English here. They may think twice about their invasion of Scotland. Oh. Scout cavalry are poor fighters, oh, but they okay. see a great distance. You can use your scout cavalry to explore the rest of the map and find the English. To win, destroy the English tower to the west. You found some sheep. Sheep are a good source of food, so send them back to your town center and assign a villager to gather food from them. You can specify a location for new units to gather by selecting a gather point. For villagers, click the town center and click the set gather point button. Before we attack the English to the west, we need to build up our forces. Have your villagers start gathering food. Keep making villagers at your town center until you have ten. The more villagers you have, the faster your resources will come in. Use your villagers to build a mill near your forage bushes. Alright, so the strategy this time, we can't take that gold. I think we're gonna die too early, so we're gonna have to go with market instead. And sell our way for a little bit. Uh, we're just gonna try to use the TC and use the TC as a funnel and try to build up in the back. Why do you do that? Oh my god! Oh! Yeah, I know. Yeah, scouting's important. I don't have a scout anymore, though. The rage is real. Okay, let's make the funnel now. But I have to go to that palace, it's okay. Okay, house here. Steal my sheep, okay, whatever. I don't care. I wish I could wall this. Um, I could wall like through here maybe. So much more expensive to wall this way. You got a kick. Okay, that's gone. Okay, that's not too bad. They have to come in through this way now. Hopefully they won't just sit here and attack the houses. <sighs> 2k plus scout micro, yep. I would expect no less from the English. Oh, 
damn it. Gee, they got Okay, hopefully they won't attack on the top, that's what I'm hoping. They'll only attack on the bottom. You can gain more food by building fishing ships. To create fishing ships, have your villagers build a dock in the water. Don't ignore me! I had to build some farms, okay, cool. Rob Wigan. Kia. Rob Wigan. Rob Wigan. Now, I, I played a lot of the African Kingdoms and the uh, Rise of Raj. Actually, mostly the African Kingdoms campaigns, but uh, they were all like uber difficult, so you had to learn how to wall your TC in like weird ways like this so that they would come straight through. Okay, so so far so good. Let's see if it. No, it's still open. Okay. I don't know where the wave went. The wave seems to go away if you wall, maybe? I'm not sure. How am I going to get that gold? There's a lot of stone. I could castle the gold later. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here's the first wave. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to castle the gold. I want to get castle right on the hill. If we can't get it right away, we'll build the siege workshop. This is my plan. I don't want to kill in my houses. Now the nice thing is, these guys actually started a dark age, or a feudal age. They actually didn't come out with a paladin right away. And I think that's how it should be. Have them work their way up. Okay, so far so good. We're gonna be up. Uh, we're gonna be up. We'll try to drop a castle if we can. Uh, we'll probably need a siege workshop first, though. Maybe some town centers. Defend with mangonels and walls. And yeah, that'll be our game plan. One more villager, and we'll be up. There we go. You defeated the English assault. Have you had villagers in your uh, center? I hope I didn't just start a trigger. Send them back to work. The English are coming to attack. No! To protect your villagers, you can use the town bell to garrison them in your town center. I'm not going to use the town bell. Click your town center, then click town bell. Oh, the British! The British! I. Town bell! Oh shit, I'm making up. Okay, we're gonna go Siege Workshop first. We're not gonna do the castle bit. Alright, that's not fair. That's a Castle Age unit. Alright, let's not kill the TC. Oh, 
Concentrate on making some soldiers to fight the enemy. You will be least. Twelve seems like an oddly specific number. Let's go market blacksmith. Exploring the map. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Can't get any food. TC has eight range. No, it has six range. I think the Megano moved up. Oh no! I can't go to Castleage! Are you kidding me? That was my whole game plan. My whole game plan revolved around that. Shit. Alright. Oh my god. You knew too pure! You didn't tell me! Okay, let's do... Uh, scouts are useless. Let's do men at arms. Um, skirmisher, maybe? I don't know. Let's do three, state. Let's do three uh, men at arms and see how many archers we encounter. Can't believe that. That's a six. What the fuck? This is not part of the campaign at all. Uh, do I want to attack them and kill them? I just imagine siege onagers coming down through, through here. Viking siege onagers. Remember, you can upgrade your militia to men at arms. Men at arms. You should always upgrade soldiers when you can farm. Okay, right, we can sell stone. Let's look at stone price. It's decent. So let's uh, get a stone economy going. That is what they gave me. And I guess I could use these for towers if I wanted also. If I could get that gold, that would be great for my economy. Although a little risky. So let's go try to take it out. Remember. 
remember to upgrade your weapons and arms at the blacksmith. You do have a blacksmith, don't you? This man is mocking me. Okay, we might have access to gold now, which is great. Means I won't have to sell the stone. We can use the stone for towers. I'll just go ahead and wall this off. Oh. That's right, I don't have any... Okay, I have gates. I have gates, though. Sure, there's a stone. Good! Your watchtower what even is fire this? On enemy units and help protect your town. They get in right as I build the tower. Nice. What are they doing? Now you have a large enough force to attack the English base. Charge! Keep your villagers working just in case you suffer casualty and need to make more troops. The hill with the dead tree protects the only access to your town. Could be a good idea to build a watchtower on this hill once you advance to the funeral edge. Why are you looking so good so far? Uh, scores a little higher than ours, I don't know why. But it shouldn't be too much of a concern. We have some nice gold access here, so we don't have to sell anything. That means we can have some stone to build some towers if we want. Let's bring some villagers forward for that. Let's do five. Let's do six, just to be sure. Uh, still walking right in. Uh, I built that. I built that in a shit place. Alright, let's get ready for our first attack. Uh, hopefully only attack. All right, here we go. The English base should be over on the left side. <laughs> of course, we have no scouting info because we lost our scout. Jack Pro, we have uh, hardcore Age of Empires, uh, William Wallace campaigns. You better not knock down this wall until you've got an army of about 12 soldiers. All right, or, or else what? A lot of archers, we need skirmishers, I believe. That's a lot for now. We'll put up some towers and build some archery ranges behind this. And there we go, we have a Feudal Age castle. Or maybe Metarums might be enough. Not too bad, okay. Yeah. 
Uh, Jack Kerr, we've already played through the first tour. Um, it took me a lot of tries to get through number four. You can check it out on YouTube or on the Twitch VOD. Oh god, that's gonna take a lot. Okay. Alright, stick with the towers for now. We transition a few skirmishers now. on what's in the bottom. This guy keeps saying explore the map. There's gotta be some surprise. Second castle, feudal age castle here. Looks like we might be getting close to finishing this. Let's go in for the kill. I'm just trying to take out the buildings, because they're never going to stop producing. Green is pretty retarded. This is probably a huge land army on his island, I don't know. Oh, my God. 
Alright, looks like we have this game in the bag. it up a little bit. Looks like I'm having trouble taking down the town center. So let's mass up one more time. I hope so. Good job. You've eliminated the English soldiers. Now destroy that tower, the and tower. our victory will be complete. Now that you know how to build up, advance through the ages and find and fight your enemies. You have all the basic skills you need to play a random map game. Hey, I can play a random map now. Game in Age of Empires, <laughs> which is also slightly easier. Alright, where's the victory? Victory sound. There we go. Okay. So let's just check the map out a little bit. Oh, there we go! It's a whole island over here. And a big desert also. Huh. Alright, so that was the William Wallace uh, hardcore campaigns. As you can see, number four was obviously the hardest out of all these. Uh, if we have more hardcore campaigns, I'll be sure to play those also. Um, otherwise, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. Alright, so there we go. There's the hardcore campaigns.